the stinky cheese man and other fairly stupid tales by John Cheska and Lane Smith Chicken Lickin Once upon a time Chicken Lickin was standing around when a piece of something fell on her head. She wasn't the brightest thing on two legs, so she started running around in circles, clucking. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. We must tell the president. Chicken Lickin ran to her friend, Ducky Lucky, and clucked. Ducky Lucky, Ducky Lucky. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president. Let's go, quacked Ducky Lucky. Chicken Lickin and Ducky Lucky ran to their friend Goosey Lucy and yelled, Goosey Lucy, Goosey Lucy, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president. Let's go, honked Goosey Lucy. Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy ran to their friend Cocky Locky and yelled, Cocky Locky, Cocky Locky, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president. Let's go, crowed Cocky Locky. Wait a minute, wait a minute, cried Jack, the narrator. I forgot the table of contents. I forgot the table of contents. Hey, you're not in this story, said Chicken Lickin. I know, said Jack, the narrator, but I came to warn you. The table of contents is, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, clucked. Chicken Lickin, we must tell the president. So Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky ignored Jack the narrator and ran off to catch a plane to Washington. Just outside the airport they met Foxy Loxy. Foxy Loxy, Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president, yelled Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. Well, come with me, said Foxy Locky. I know a shortcut to the airport. Foxy Loxy led Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky to his cave. He didn't get to eat them, though, because Chicken Lickin was almost right. The sky wasn't falling. The table of contents was it fell and squished everybody. The end.